The Microsoft 365 Copilot experience is coming to you on November 1st for general availability. And as it does, it brings with it a new set of experiences around Microsoft Copilot Labs. What Microsoft Copilot Labs represents is a prompt repository and a space that we can learn from one another and from industry experts around what kinds of prompts are people using to take full advantage of Microsoft Copilot. One of the interesting patterns that we see in these early preview periods with Copilot usage is that people learn from one another. A lot of times, one of the biggest things that we get in Copilot experiences is I see what you're prompting and how you're using it, and then I learn through that collaboration flow how I myself can use it. This leads to an exponential increase in value that we see over time by using and exploring and sharing and creating champion networks and more around and at times with your Copilot deployment. Now, while AI can be supported by champion programs, what this represents with these uh, Copilot Labs experience is the emphasis of prompt engineering. Now, prompt engineering is a skill set where what we're really doing is figuring out when and how do we delegate to AI to perform certain tasks for us. This is a skill that's going to have some resiliency for many years as we learn when and how to delegate and when and where it's appropriate to use AI, um, how to uh, guide AI to get the best outcomes. Those are skills that we should all be developing if we want to be successful in a post AI world, right? Because we all know if you collaborate with AI, you're going to be in a better position, both individually, as a team, as an organization, and in a competitive marketplace. What's exciting about this as well is the fact that because these prompts have the ability for you to naturally discover them and explore them, and because this Copilot Labs will be directly connected and available through Copilot experiences, it means that we have another wonderful adoption tool at our disposal as we release Copilot. It means that prompt engineering, at least in the discovery and identification of different ways in which I can use these tools, is not something that we all have to own, but something that we can encourage people to explore and learn through self-service and reflection in something like a Copilot Labs experience. This does bring up a broader question though, which is, is prompt engineering a skill set that will stay highly relevant in the years to come? And I think most people agree that while it's important today, Copilot um, and experiences and that sort of thing are going to be uh, very prompt heavy in these first few years. Over time, these natural language interfaces will adapt. The models that you engage with will be, uh, become smarter through the interface design, through Microsoft and other vendors that are playing in in between. And it's likely at some point in time, what we think of as learning prompting engineering is going to be less and less relevant over time. One of the things I love about the fact that it's Copilot Labs, not you know Copilot Prompt database or something like that, is that it's going to evolve as well. This way in which we can get the adoption and engagement and uh, you know in informational support that we need and that our organizations and our employees are going to need during this transformation journey, that can be satisfied and supported, at least augmented by Microsoft Copilot Labs. And that makes me not just excited for what Copilot Labs are today, but how they could evolve over time with sharing, with community contributions, with expert and in industry uh, scenarios and more, and how that might evolve as we all evolve past um, prompt engineering into more delegation and more complex delegation scenarios as the Copilot experience matures. So very excited about AI and the change that it possesses. We now have an official date, November 1st, um, but I please, 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 when it, November 1st happens and you get access to your Copilot experience, one of the first things you should be doing is exploring the Copilot labs and, and trying many of those prompts yourself to see how they can help you, how, how it can help your peers and how it can help your organization. I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, signing out for now.